Welcome to the Amazon Elite YouTube channel. This video is about building relationships. Game changer. What do we talk about? We talk about how important it is to grow a personal relationship with the people you're doing business with. Don't be an average e-commerce seller. Look at the big picture. Smash the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and stay lit. Stay lit. So I, we, we really wanted to sit here today and kind of touch on suppliers and, mm. and the relationships we have with our suppliers, like the personal relationships we have with our suppliers that have allowed us to scale the business to where it is today. You know, you always hear about the analytical part of growing a business. You always hear about the tools you need to grab. You always hear about what you need to do on, on, internally to grow the business. But like such a huge part of growing a successful business is the outside, yeah. the, the external, the, relationships, the networks yeah. and the relationships. Yeah, if it wasn't for that relationship with Ernie, we probably wouldn't have went to ASD. So building relationships, you're absolutely right, Art. It's, we say it all the time, it's the foundation yeah. of our company. Without the good relationships, we don't exist as a business. Absolutely not, we do not exist. No, and, and these wholesalers that we work with, like, this is what I aspire to. You know, you hear other sellers say, like, oh, I want to be like this seller, or I want to do this. Like, I want to be like these wholesalers. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to be like Ernie. Like, he's a little bit older than us, and, like, that's what I envision, mm -hmm. that type of lifestyle, that those type of relationships, you know, when we're his age, if yeah. not earlier than that. But, like, and the way we can get that is, you know, from the advice that he throws at us. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I just got a question from one of our clients yesterday. Uh, it was like, hey, Eric, um, I'm trying to buy a couple pallets of toys from one of my distributors. He won't drop the price. I could still make 10% margins on it. It's fast movers. What do I do? I said, buy them. 10% to build a relationship? Wow. Yeah, it's a $5,000 order, but still 10% of $5,000 is still 500 bucks. But it's more about the relationship. And then next time, or maybe the time after, yeah. that's when you get the 14% and the 16% and the 18% because you you took a hit on this first order. Oh, you, you, you helped them. Yes. Really, that's what it is. You helped them. Like, I know with a lot of the companies we work with, we're their go-to. Like, mm -hmm. that, that holiday letter that's there is because... The, our buyer who works directly with them, you know, Mac is always saying like, we are their go-to. If they have a product they want to move, yeah. whether it's a truckload of diapers or whatever it is, they're contacting us mm. and then they're willing to drop the price significantly to move it because they want us to do well on it too. We, we tell them right away like, listen, Doug, you know, this is a great product, but we need it at this price and no questions asked. No yeah. questions asked. He, he drops it and he gives it to us. Yeah. That. And it definitely wasn't like that at the beginning. Of no. course not. But we've helped them plenty of times with products they couldn't move and we've taken them into, and sometimes I've taken those products to break even on it. Mm. just to move it for them because they needed it moved. And then that favor always comes back around, whether directly or indirectly. And there's ways to manipulate these offers that these people you build relationships give you. For example, we got a, a offer from Nicole like two or three weeks ago, and the one ASIN was selling really well, Yeah. and the other ASIN we were breaking even on. Yeah. So Matt came in my office, he's like, hey, Eric, what do I do? She wants me to get, I think it was like 80 cases of this. But the, the profitable listing, we'd only be able to move 30 cases a month. So that's really three, it's almost over three months worth of inventory. So it's too much inventory yeah. for what we buy. We buy about 30 days. But I was like, let's just do it, right? We'll send the one ASIN just to move the units, but we'll make a lot of money on the other ASIN because we're getting it a lot cheaper. Right. Right, hundred percent. It's like you know, you, you you hedge it. I mean, there's sometimes, sometimes like one of the uh, one of the health and beauty companies that we work with, they tell us that we need to meet a certain requirement for to give us a price on one product, and so we might take the other product because they need it to be moved as well, and we'll take it knowing we're not making anything on that one solely just to make the money on four, five, six different ASINs that we just mm. picked up. Because because we're hedging the bet, you know, we're hedging the investment, and we're we're kind of looking at it at the full scope. Sometimes mm. you don't look at it by ace and by ace. You look at it as a package deal. Okay, this fifty thousand dollar order. What is the profit on this fifty thousand dollar order? 
all together, we're looking at a 20, 30, 40% you know, gross profit or even higher for ROI, then of course we're gonna take it just because one of the ASINs that they want us to take isn't profitable. Of course we're gonna take it because they, they're asking us for a favor, so we're gonna return it. So for that guy that's making 10%, just like you said, man, jump on that. Mm. Jump on that and grow the relationship. Be a big picture person. Where do you wanna be in a year? Not where do you wanna be tomorrow? I think too often we just see that people are just impatient and they want their business to be a legitimate, full-scale business on day one and it's not going to happen that way. No, absolutely not. And then you brought up a valid point, analyzing really per order or even better yet, at the company as a whole. So like every three months, every six yeah. months, analyzing the company as a whole, because even if you had to take, even if 10% of the products you buy from that distributor are end up being horrible, um, non-profiting products, if you review that distributor as a whole and their margins are still healthy, then that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just means more units you're selling to get more customer feedback, increase your grow your storefront on Amazon, get more customers to purchase from you, become a larger presence, and grow your Amazon business. Right. So it's a win-win. So it's about building those relationships and having that trust with the supplier and that supplier having trust with you. So when they decide who their go-tos are, you are them and they are you. So you know, it, it, it's so important. I can't stress how important it is. And that's why we work with national wholesalers and, and distributors. And you know, in retrospect, even though we, we, we sell phenomenally on Amazon and, and on other online platforms, when you look at these other companies that they work with, these billion dollar companies, mm -hmm. it's like, why are they providing these deals to us? It's solely because of the relationships they've grown with us and the opportunities they see in our future. I, I know it. Yeah, and really I think that people, most people are good judge of character. Yeah. Most people in a first introduction, you have 10 seconds to really present yourself. Um, and then if you can win the confidence of that person in those first 10 seconds, then you get the opportunity to grow and build that relationship. Um, that's why even sometimes when we go to these trade shows, we may even flip our badge around just because we don't want the person to see that we're an e-commerce seller right from the rip, right? Because we only get 10 seconds to introduce ourselves and we don't want to be judged by our e-commerce capabilities because we are so much more than that. We bring value to distributors and you need to bring value to distributors. You need to sell yourself and the value that you will bring them, not just what you can take from them. It's like one hand wash the other, both wash the face. I think Jada Kiss said that. Yeah, I, th I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I think so. No, that, that's so true though. And that's kind of like what we do when we do these trade show walkthroughs and that's why we've had so much success mm -hmm. walking the show with ourselves and then bringing now people, tagging people along, showing them what we do. And obviously it doesn't matter how many tools we pr provide you with, uh, if we show you what to say and what to, what to do because it's really about the, the genuineness. Mm. Uh, of, of how you present yourself and, yeah. and and that's what it stems down to like that's what when you break it down to everything else it's how authentic you are mm. uh, and you're right most people are a good judge of character so they'll know they'll know and unfortunately I know at first when when you know when Amazon lit as a seller was around it like they loved the set trade shows then came apart where there were some bad apples in the game and unfortunately they made a bad name for e-commerce mm. sellers and of course of course there was a lot of changes happening and brick and mortar stores were worried about it and now things are turning around again and it's like you can't beat them join them so now they're deciding who to join who to partner with who to team with so they can scale their brick and mortar suppliers uh, or well, their brick and mortar retailers and the suppliers can still provide to that genuine e-commerce knowing they're not going to impact them whether it's abiding by map pricing whether it's you know if if they say hey don't sell don't sell this product online or don't sell on this listing, we won't. You know, it's, it's kind of just being authentic. Absolutely, absolutely, relationships. And no matter who we meet, every single time, anyone out there is gonna offer us something and we're gonna provide you something. And that's what relationships are about. Mm. We do not know everything and there's so much information out there for us to learn as well. And we grab that from you and you guys grab from us what you can and then we grow that relationship. There's no reason it has to end there. There might be opportunity for us to partner on something in the future and you just never know who you're gonna stumble across, who you're gonna meet, who's gonna be valuable to you 
and you're going to be valuable to them in the future. Mm. And that's the relationships on a whole nother level. That's yeah. relationships outside of the suppliers. That's relationships with our clients. That's relationships yeah. with just mutual mutual competitors, right? With others who consider competitors. You know, we look at it like, you know, just because we sell on Amazon, both of us, doesn't mean we need to compete. We could work together. There's, there's plenty of competition out there, plenty of saturation out there. So why not partner with certain individuals who we find genuine, which yeah. we have, and, and grow with them. Get deals together, make yeah. power moves together, meet up when you're in each other's states, and communicate, share information. There's so much. Just the other day, one of our clients called me and said, hey, Eric, do you know about this new uh, addition that Amazon added on Seller Central? I was like, no, I had no idea. And he, we spent five minutes on the phone, and he explained it to me. Yeah. Right, and and those are the two guys we met at the diner. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So yeah, those are good dudes. Those yeah, are, so you good know, dudes. and they they've been they're probably some of our first clients, and they've been the brothers or the yeah, guys? no, the brothers. But I mean, man, <laughs> and, and the coolest part is like seeing all these different people and like diff at all different walks of life, whether it's mm. like a single mother or a state trooper or just two brothers who who left their businesses and started an Amazon hustle, mm. uh, you know doctors it, it's it's crazy it's crazy all walks of life are looking for side hustles yeah the guy we talked to, talk to yesterday everybody man yeah so go out there asap today i'm talking right now once you're done watching every single video on our youtube channel go out there and start building relationships yeah do not sit behind the computer do not just send cold emails out start calling start going to these trade shows start meeting face to face learn their names learn them personally learn about them so you can grow these genuine relationships that are going to help you grow your business and grow your future you know we talk to so many sellers and everyone does the same thing they're either cold calling or sending emails out and asking for a catalog if you have a supplier that you think might be of value you need to contact them and tell them hey i have an opportunity for you i'm an e-commerce seller i could bring you lots of value i'd like to take you out to dinner and discuss this with you mm. nobody's doing that this is something that you need to do it brings a whole nother avenue a whole nother scope of opportunity and it puts you on another plateau another platform above a regular average joe e-commerce seller that's what you need to do 100 percent. so we talked a lot about uh, distributors and wholesalers and building relationships in all aspects of your business. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and if you didn't like the video, throw us a thumbs down. We like constructive criticism as well. Stay lit. Stay lit. <laughs>